After I make a Facebook Live video, I do two things. One is I see if the video needs to be trimmed at the beginning, maybe the end. I'll show you how to do that. And secondly, I upload a video thumbnail image. So first of all, to do both of these things, come into Facebook Creator Studio. I will put a link in the notes below the video to where you need to go for this. And once you're here, um, click on the left hand side if you haven't already in published and then click on live videos to find all of your recent live videos. And once you find the most recent one, here's what I recommend doing. Instead of clicking edit post, I click directly on the video picture itself, which before I've uploaded a thumbnail, it's usually uh, black because I do it through Zoom and somehow that's the that's the thumbnail image. So I'm going to click on it uh, in, right here. And then once I click on it, I will find that on the left hand side, if I move my mouse to the left, there are now these options. For some reason, this edit post link works better than the edit video link that I showed you earlier. But so I come here on the left hand side, I click edit post. Okay, and now uh, let me go ahead and just now you'll see that I can edit the title of the video, which actually is something else I need to do. So um, this video is about um, about my upcoming course, um, making authentic, simple videos. Okay, so I've named the video. I already have the description of the video here. I could add more. Uh, I don't actually add um, uh, hashtags that's that'll be in a separate segment but anyway um, I can edit the description if I want to uh, and now um, on the right hand side let me go and move my little video here on the right hand side you will see several sections we are in the video detail section right now let me go down uh, captions is very helpful um, I have left mine auto generate auto generated uh, now I, I don't worry about this part because this part, uh, this usually disappears after a while. Um, there, I just made this video today, so they're still working on it. So I, I just ignore that error. Um, I just make auto generated captions turned on, auto generated subtitles. Now, don't ask me what the difference, differences are because, um, to me, they're, they're the same thing. Uh, but, I'm sure there's technical differences, whatever. I keep them both on. The thumbnail, okay, let's click on the thumbnail section here. And you can either scroll through the video to select uh, the least unflattering image of yourself that you find, or you can go down to where it says custom image. Let me, sorry, let me move my view. You go down to where it says custom image, and if you have created a thumbnail image, which I have by this point, uh, I'm going to click on add image. I'm going to go you probably, I don't know if you can see my screen, but I'm going to click on, uh, I'm selecting an image I created. There it is. All right. So that's what it looks like. Um, and then further down, what I do is I, um, I actually ignore all of these things. I've tried these different things, but I, I don't think they're worth, worth it, my, my time. Um, I click on video trimming down here, and this is where we can trim videos. Now, a couple things. One is you can simply watch the video to see where you might need to trim it. Um, or you can, you can simply, uh, what I do is if I'm trimming the beginning of a video, right? What I, usually like I just need to trim like one second or even like half a second. I actually click on these up down arrows. So I click on this up arrow and it will, it will move the video forward one, um, tenth of a second at once. You see? It just keeps moving a frame by frame by frame. And, and let's say that I wanted to start here. I could leave it like this, and then I would click on save to trim the video. There's no confirm down here. They just have to click on save, which saves everything else I've done. I've, it saves the, the video title that I did earlier. It saves the thumbnail, and it saves any trimming. And the same thing at the end. If I wanted to um, to do to do the end, uh, whoops, let me see here. See? If I, if I, if I click the down arrow, it's moving the, the, the frame by frame, the ending of the video. And I could just keep going backwards to see at what point do I want the video to be stopped. Okay. Now in, in this, in this, it just happens in this case, I don't actually want to trim either end of the video. So I'm just going to click and drag the, the, the gold and just go to the very start again, click and drag to the left to go to the very start at zero, zero, zero. See, I can click and drag and, and change however I want, but I'm going to just, 
cancel out the, the trim. And the same thing here. I'm going to go all the way to the end. I'm just going to click up just to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'm done with all these things. Imagine I had trimmed something in the beginning or at the end. I'm going to click on save. And voila, it should go through. Yes, it did. Um, ignore the fact that the thumbnail hasn't shown up yet because it takes them a bit of time to, to update it. Um, and, oh, actually, I think this is just like a quick preview of several screen screenshots within the video. Um, so anyway, hope that helps. And, uh, you know, uh, this is something that I usually just, it only takes me, it, it took me six minutes to describe it, but it usually only takes me like two, three minutes to do. So it's pretty, pretty quick action.